Gonna use Beto in the drown here against Boss Nightwing. We have a level 3 crown of conduct on her, and we have the full damage setup for her. This might be a bit detrimental because, as we have seen, crown doesn't perform well or doesn't work at all as you add more damage buffs for some reason or with some specific damage buffs. So we might actually be impeding the damage here, but we'll see how it goes. I usually get 14 mil when I put her with Batman Flaps in the team. At peak value, that meaning after super move and after having max stacks of crown. I'm gonna try to match his super move with my own. Okay. That went well. Still getting 40 mil, but uh, we're not at full stacks. Now we're at full stacks, so we just have to wait to get back into it. I think it's gonna be 60 mil, and yeah, that's that's a bit more, but at the same time, I'm not sure it's a trade off of not having Betten Blast in the team because he can get you in uh, into final form so much faster. It's 17 mil, roughly 17 mil. Ah, decent. Again, it's upsides and downsides with both the teams. I just need to make sure I don't mess up and get myself killed. And this should be uh, an easy one shot. Hopefully. Yeah, next time we're back in uh, final form, we're going to be able to uh, kill him no problem. It's a bit more of not messing up. Okay, get out actually. It makes no difference if she is or is not in combat. So we might as well get Batman in there. He triggered infinite power also. But yeah, this one 12. Yep. Easy one shot. Okay, so we all know about this man that he's going to be uh, taking a lot of damage if you break his passive when he's at max stacks. And this team is a waste. This team is a huge waste, but I just want to see. What happens if we fully stack Brainiac, fully stack Zatanna, fully stack Raven Darkness, and then try to do a little bit of a jump attack with Raven? With Beta Club equipped. I want to see what value we can actually get to. That might be the highest value we've uh, ever seen. Uh, this could be done, I guess, to a better extent uh, with something like Mr. Freeze. Like Raven, Brainiac, Mr. Freeze. And having the Mr. Freeze as the damage dealer. But with that, it's it's kind of iffy, because we need to get him frozen. And the damage might be so high anyway that he dies before he gets frozen. Oh, though he removes all negative effects, doesn't he? Well, that will make the Raven stacking a bit tricky. Oh, didn't think about that one. I guess we gotta be fast about it. Now yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this there's no way we don't nuke his ass, but uh, might be a little bit trickier to get that value that I was hoping for. Brainiac stacking done, let's get Zatanna in there. Oh, 
with ya. <laughs> Not mad. But we can do something about it. Because when he we break his thing, where we do a special above a high combo, there's gonna be far bigger of a window in which we can apply negative effects. It's fine, she's gonna be fine. Okay, almost there. We're kind of running out of time. There we go, thank you for the power steal. Though it will not work, because we're going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. Oh, this is still good enough. It seems to be capping at 69 though, 69.3. I think he has damage cap, I think he has a damage cap, That's and that's basically his damage cap. We can't do more than that with like a Kimflan Sakomen 3rd special, to be, to be exact. Yeah, we actually did it, because you don't get the reset on the debuff unless you do another special that's above a certain amount of combo. So you are on 10 negative uh, debuffs on him with Raven plus Zatanna plus all that stuff. It's simply that we hit the uh, damage cap, sadly, and couldn't go any higher with this. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. And those are the amazing rewards that we got. Uh, funny enough, Red or Batman is actually quite rare drop. Useless for me, but still. Here we have Kimplant Sakomen with uh, Nora Snow Globe and Dr. Fate with Puppet of Zatanna at level 5. It's not ideal because the clones will get at best one third special in there before getting tagged out because that's how the uh, Chaos Tag and fights go. And Dr. Fate is there for the power reduction. I actually put an artifact on him because while it is ideal to get King to die faster, I don't think that will be a problem like Starfire is dealing decent damage to us. And at the same time, the health of the clones depends on the health of the main character. So if King was too low on health, then the clones would have been in too much danger. Sadly, she's gonna power drain us when she uses specials. But it's just faster to let her do it. Also, come on, I blocked that. That's kinda cringe. So I didn't block the first part of it, that hit Dr. Fates. So at the same time, it kinda makes sense. Now, now in preparation for the first clone, we need to make sure that she doesn't move from here until she's ready to do super move and we need to conserve energy to make sure that the clone tags in with enough energy to do a third special. Because if not, it's simply gonna get tagged out before she, the clone gets the energy. Okay, do your thing. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's, that's all as far as that would have gone. Now let's keep going with King's base third specials before getting the second clone in. Because getting King back into the fight is kind of the most risky point and the most uncertain point. So we want that to happen when we don't have much to lose. Actually, I think I'm gonna let it happen right now because we're done with the percentage health and if I uh, do more specials, I'm gonna heal, heal more because of the um, Nora Snow Globe. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're, we're doing well. Okay, you can kill this clone now. We no longer need it. This is perfect. Again, the clone would not have been able to do more than one third special because it would have gotten tagged out by the kills modifier. Now we're just going to do our best to do as much damage as we can. The, uh, this part of the fight is not that relevant, but hey, every little bit counts.
We even got full stack, so we're going to get the full stack super move. That will be some damage. A 4.7. Not too incredible. But it was something. Yeah, this went well. This actually went uh, by all means as planned. Welcome to the new percentage health squad. So we have been blessed with sort of salvation to power drain it fast. We have Puppet of Zetana on uh, Black Adam. I'm not intending to trigger it, it's just there to give us some passive stats. And we're gonna have Nora Snow Globe on this stroke. Like, this team actually makes sense. Putting Kim Flan Sakomen as we did in the past in this team is extremely dumb. Because you're not gonna have enough time to do everything, but Black Adam is so fast with your percentage hull damage that it's gonna be no problem getting everything out of the way in this fight. And he's already done, by the way. Yeah, that was that was all the percentage hull damage that Black Adam needed to deal. Oh, my bad. Not as confident combo and chopping with this man as I am with Black Adam. And the super move just to make sure that we're done. Come on, get, get your ass here. Why are you running? Okay, we're done. Destro, get in there. Bro, my nose is itchy. Okay, he doesn't power generate fast because this man is crit resistant. Makes sense. Okay, that was the last one though, I want the clones to get tagged in with a bit more at their, at their disposal. Excuse that phone call, please. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, he needs to kind of die. That would be ideal. You don't have to be extra careful with the clones because they don't have a lot of time. So if one dies to super move, we're gonna be fine. So usually the percentage health damage team with Deathstroke in it is going to deal uh, 1.4 billion damage to a 2 billion damage fight. So that's kind of the thing we're looking forward to get more of. More than 1.4 billion. And honestly I think we're already there judging by the amount of health left and uh, this could have been played a little bit better. We could have had a bit more luck with the opponent because Shazam is not the chillest dude, okay? And he's also crit resistant. Yeah, we definitely have more than 1.4. If this man even has 2 billion health though, I think he does. I really think he does. No, he doesn't have 2 billion health, but look, percentage wisely, we would have done 2 billion if he had. We would, we would have done more than 1.4 billion if he had 2 billion. Like, there's barely any health left. Like, there's, there's only a fifth of his starting HP. This is good. This is good stuff.